Okay, hi. Um, I have some apples in my fruit bowl that need using up. They're not bad, um, or if there was a little bits of spots in them I could cut them out, but they're just not overly um, nice to eat raw like this anymore. So I'm going to turn them into a pudding. And I've already got my oven on anyways for dinner tonight. <laughs> so um, I'm going to use the oven already going to make this apple pudding. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to peel and core these and slice them into slices. And then I'll make the batter to go with it. Okay, so I've cut up my apples. Uh, I'm now making up the batter mix. So in my bowl I have one and a half cups of flour, two teaspoons of baking powder quarter of a cup of sugar, so that's my dry ingredients. I'm going to add one egg and I'm going to add uh, half to three quarters of a cup of milk and give that a good stir. I've also melted uh, 75 grams of butter in here. That's going to go into the mix as well. Plus I'm going to add in um, half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a quarter of a teaspoon of mixed spice uh, and give that a good mix up. Okay, so there's my batter mixture there. Uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my apples to that and fold it in. Okay, so there's my apple mixed into my dough there, my batter. Uh, I've used four apples and I'm now going to tip this into my oven proof dish. And you need to get one that's got quite high sides, um, so I'm putting bowl or some description because it, otherwise it may overflow. Okay, so that looks like what would be a really delicious apple cake right this minute. But I'm going to turn it from that into a pudding by my, the next step. So I'm going to grab a tablespoon of corn flour and half to three quarters of a cup of brown sugar and mix that up together. So I've mixed the brown sugar and the corn flour together, which looks like that. And I'm going to sprinkle that over the top of uh, this pudding here. So I just sprinkle it like this. And then I'm going to add two cups of boiling water. Okay, so I've got my brown sugar and uh, corn flour on the top there and I have a cup of boiling hot water. And I'll just pour that on using uh, the back of a spoon just so that it doesn't make big holes or big divots into the pudding. And that is now going to go into the oven, 180 degrees, for about 30 minutes, 40 minutes. I'll check it as it goes. So, um, yummy apple pudding made with uh, apples that are in your fruit bowl that potentially you could throw out. Uh, you could make an apple pudding, apple crumble. You could stew the apples, have them for breakfast the next morning. You could make an apple sponge. You could even make apple um, with dumplings on the top. Uh, whatever the case, it makes it uh, fills, fills you up after dinner. Makes the dinner go a long way and you're not throwing it out product. Okay, so I just pulled this out of the oven. Uh, it's about 45 minutes to cook. And as you can see, you got the yummy juice on the side. Um, it's like a self-sourcing apple pudding. Uh, this would be served real nice with cream or with ice cream. Uh, we'll tuck into it and see what it tastes like.